All right, guys, what's up? Um, gonna be heading back to work again. How's everyone's day going so far? Uh, mine's going all right, I guess. Uh, I gotta go work, but at least my shift is not long, so I won't be as tired. And I'm off tomorrow, so that's always good. Um, oh, what I wanted to talk to you guys about today, um, kind of a little bit more of a serious note. Make sure, guys, when you're riding that you got to ride within your limits. Like, you can't... There's so many crazy people out there and so many people that aren't looking. And it's just like, I read in the news today that a guy in Scottsdale got killed because a truck pulled out on him and the driver fled the scene and no one has any idea who the driver of the truck was. Um... Which is just horrible, and I, I couldn't imagine being that guy's family and losing someone like that and not knowing who caused it or what happened. Like, I've been going through a lot of funerals lately and a lot of lost riders, and it's just... A lot of it's so unnecessary if we just take the time to slow down a little. I mean, go fast. Go go crazy by every means. Like, I love to go fast, but just be safe with it, guys. Don't outdo yourself. Like, don't ride to where you're going to be in a dangerous situation. Stay out of dangerous situations. Like... I see all those videos online of people cutting and weaving through traffic and lane splitting at like 65 miles an hour and it's just like dude like it's not worth it like I get I get I get the rush factor but it's like if you want to have a rush like go find an empty road and do like 120 down an empty road but don't do it like don't be lane splitting through traffic at 60 miles an hour and I expect to just walk away time after time it's not gonna work like and that's a big part of why a lot of riders just a lot of a lot of people think motorcycles are dangerous a lot of riders die because they just outride themselves and they ride past their limits and it's something that I've been finding a lot more lately that you know you gotta learn where your limits are and you gotta not uh, exceed them you gotta just keep improving and keep going greater but don't be you know riding week one and then decide all of a sudden oh I'm gonna go run through twisties at 80 miles an hour with all my buddies on our ones and I'm on my little 250 but I can keep up with them just fine it's not gonna work out like you just gotta play it cool and you gotta play it safe guys because if you don't do that, then you're going to have a lot of problems and you're going to get into a lot of situations that you don't really want to be in. And, you know, like, honestly, funerals are just the worst thing and I've been dealing with a lot of them lately. And, uh... That guy let me go. That was cool. Um, I still want to be behind that semi. It's not a good spot to be in. But, um, yeah, just take it easy, guys. Like, all the crazy cool stuff, that'll all come with time. Like, you don't need to just get right out there and start doing craziness right out the gate. It's not going to work. Like, just got to take things nice and easy. And that's the best advice I can give. As a fairly new rider myself, you know, and I've I've been in a few situations where, you know, I see my life flash before my eyes and luckily I've gotten lucky and I came out of them, but it's like you can't, you can't be doing that, you know, all the time. It's, it's like the worst feeling when you almost, you almost lose everything and it, it, sometimes that's what it takes for you to realize what you had in the first place but anyways 
That's probably going to be the end of this rant for right now because I'm here at work, so. Yeah, fortunately, I live really, really close to my work, which is good and bad at the same time. Save a lot on gas, but not much on heartache. Doesn't give me a whole lot of time to talk. I'll be doing more serious rides uh, soon, like going to South Mountain probably pretty soon and things like that. Actual twisty fun rides probably coming pretty soon. Just for now, I'm just keeping it local. I haven't been motor vlogging long, and it can can be kind of distracting sometimes. So I kind of want to get used to it before I start commentating on craziness like that. So, all right, guys, we'll see you later. They so pretty though. How's it going guys? I'm back and as you can see I just got out of freaking Mikhail. Um getting ready to go back to Makasa uh on this sexy piece. Ooh, that timing belt though. That is gross. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but that is the worst timing belt I've ever heard in my life. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and get this bitch started up though. Look at that. And we're gonna go ahead and start heading home, but I'm trying to take a couple minutes to talk to you guys a little bit about uh, oh my god, that Harley has a trailer attached to it. Look at that, that is neat. That Harley torque though. Just get a closer look. That is amazing, look at that. That's pretty neat, guys. Pretty neat. Um, anyways. So. Uh, today's topic of discussion. Or at least this little five minute, minute segment's topic of discussion. Um, to wheelie or not to wheelie? That is the question. Um, can I wheelie? Currently the answer is. Eh. Kind of, sort of. I can do a little bit of pop wheelies here and there, but uh, I can't do any kinds of sustained power wheelies or anything like that. Partially because the bike doesn't have the power for that, and partially because I suck. Um, so, you know, that's how that is currently, at least. Um, you know, it might change. I might get better at how to motorcycle, but uh, for now, anyways. Uh, you won't be seeing too many wheelies and stuff in my videos unless it's other people. Now, I'm going to be planning on doing a lot more group rides here pretty soon. And, uh, if that's the case, then you guys will probably see a lot of wheelies and stuff. And things like that coming out of me. Uh, or at least from other people. And, uh, I plan to start getting a lot more exciting content going on. Uh, more than just me riding around from home to work and from home to Walmart and stuff like that. Uh, hopefully so that, you know, you guys can kind of get a little bit more of a insight on what I actually do on the motorcycle, not the boring stuff, the actual fun group ride support ride kind of stuff. Um, I wish I got it on tape. I have pictures that I might put in the video. I definitely actually will put those in the video. Um, pictures of just a couple of... Uh, I did a funeral escort ride for a guy named Xavier who uh, crashed and unfortunately passed away on his Ninja 300. So he did a funeral ride for him and I got pictures of that. And I don't have any pictures of another ride, but we did a second ride for a woman named Laura Smith who... Uh, Unfortunately, um, decided that she, uh, didn't want to be on this earth anymore, and so she, uh, did the deed herself, um, which is still kind of hard for me to talk about in some ways, because it's like, you know, that really sucks when you get to that point, and you feel like there's nowhere left to go and you just start kind of going down that spiral and it's a down it's, it's a such a steep slope like once you start down that hill like it, it, it just goes so fast and you know and for any of you guys that feel like there's there's just no hope left in your world and there's no hope 
uh, of anything left for you there's there's always something more like I'll be honest with you guys like I've been through a lot a lot of hardships in my life but uh, one thing that I've learned is that uh, you just gotta keep pushing forward you know if you just let your life consume you you let the negative things in your life consume you instead of the positive things and you're always gonna find yourself being depressed and there's positive things about everyone's life like I don't care if you're poor or you're homeless or whatever and he can't turn there um, there's always gonna be something positive in your life like there's just just look for the positive you know and some people are a lot less fortunate like I always say turn to motorcycles but for a lot of people you can't afford a motorcycle and that might be why you're looking at my video because you want a motorcycle but you can't afford one um, and if that's the case then you know I, I sympathize with you because for a long time oh shit bitch come on she wouldn't get in a second um for a long time a motorcycle was just a dream for me like i had a scooter and it was the biggest piece of crap ever and i just saw all these people i saw yummy r6 i saw well terrific i saw all these people out riding around and just making good content and and reaching out to people and people respected them and stuff and it was just like man I was just like I really want to be a part of that community and I want to have a motorcycle and I can honestly tell you guys that if you just work hard at things it'll come to you like and there she goes again man that's my fault that time but and it's just it'll come good things come with time and that all comes back to like the whole discussion of suicide you know you can't don't ever think that your life is not worth living because you're put on this earth for a reason and like it or not you know as long as it's not anything that's gonna kill you you'll always wake up you always have another day and another opportunity and it's just it's so not worth it to end it all and just throw all that opportunity away you know and that's really been a thing in my life recently like a lot of just thrown opportunities because people just feel like their life is is meaningless and life is not meaningless guys it's it's got so much to offer if you're just willing to look and i've pulled through so much so much in my life so much crap that i i, I just feel like everything at this point is just water under the bridge and I've come through so much and I've come such a far away but anyways guys that's it for me I'm gonna pull in right here and park uh, this will probably be towards the middle of the video uh, so we'll see how I do that in editing uh, anyways I love you guys and uh, peace out alright Alrighty, I am out of Walmart, and we're going to be taking another short little trip here. I'm going to go get my haircut. That was an interesting conversation. I said I talked to a guy in there for about an hour about uh, bikes and the way people drive and stuff, which made me think of yet another topic, um, and that's relations with other drivers and stuff like that on the road. And uh, how important it is to be aware of your surroundings. Now, that car ahead of me, if I wasn't paying attention, it would have probably just got rear-ended. Um, but like I said, you can't let anything go unnoticed. You gotta always be checking what you're doing and stuff. And making sure that no one's trying to kill you or anything crazy like that. Uh, just try and focus on staying out of line spots, I guess. Uh, you know, a buddy of mine just got in an accident because he got uh, cut off and laid his bike down and high-sided over a curb. And luckily, I mean, he got up and walked away from it. His bike's all right. Kind of fixing himself. But, uh, yeah, dude went straight over a curb. And uh, he just got a fractured elbow and uh, a lot of road rash but you know those things happen um, 
You know, uh, a friend of mine always said that there's three types of riders in this world. There are those who have crashed, those who are going to crash, and are those who lie about crashing. Um, just make sure you have good gear and stuff like that. And keep yourself as best protected. Good insurance, you know, on a bike, never skip out on insurance. Like, because things go from normal to unexpected very quickly. And that's one lesson I've learned quite a bit since I've been riding this bike and uh, riding with other people and hearing what they all have to say. There's just a, a lot of things can go wrong very quickly. And so when you're riding, you gotta make sure you're staying safe and doing everything you're supposed to be doing because if you're not then things like that can happen and I can get if I hadn't been paying attention again I might have just wandered into the lane or something like that and that dude would have hit me like you gotta be super duper careful in uh, situations like that because people are just people just don't look for you on a bike like they think you have you have like a lesser vehicle I guess and it's so easy for them to hit you. You can be amazed at how how many people I've seen just how many people I've lost because of things like that. And so just you guys be careful out there. That's all I gotta say. And you know, just try and be aware of your situation. Try to be aware of what's going on and who's around you and what you're doing and this and that and when Britney Spears' next album drops and no I'm just kidding um yeah just be careful out there guys like um it's all there really is to say you know you think the second you think you know it all is the second you're gonna crash I pretty much guarantee you that uh it's just so easy to just not be paying attention and on one moment's lapse can be it and I don't care how lucky you think you are things can go south pretty quick um, if you might notice I moved my camera yet again because I'm just trying to play around with it and figure out what the best angle is um, anyways we are here and great clips oh Jesus looks like it is going to be a wait for great clips but that's okay we'll uh we'll see how long the wait is and then we'll come back out What is up, everybody? Just got my hair cut. Getting ready to head home. And this will be the last part of probably today's video. So, that being said, um, uh, basically, uh, what was I going to talk about? Um, Oh God! Oh, look at them girls, though. Um, basically. Oh, look at the truck! It's so pretty. Um, people that do that shit with the undercover cop cars, and they buy them, and fucking, it's confusing as hell, and I hate it because it's just like, come on, man, like. You don't gotta be doing that to try and confuse people and make them think you're a cop and especially when they keep the fucking spotlight detached. That's a dick move, honestly, like, that's probably the best way to get people to hate you right there is to do what that guy in front of me's doing, like, it just, honestly, it kind of sucks, like, and I know that, like, a lot of people, 
are not doing anything wrong or I, I shouldn't say that kind of sucks because I mean I don't really do anything wrong a lot of the time but it's still like when you're on a motorcycle and you think there's a cop you get pretty nervous like immediately you get pretty nervous like there's no there's no way around that like cops just don't like motorcycles and that's just the way it is some cops are cool don't get me wrong but a lot of cops will just I mean any little thing you do on a motorcycle you could have got away with easily in a car but like anything you do on a motorcycle they just immediately assume you're an outlaw or this that or the other or you're trying to have fun like you're just popping wheelies or something and uh, honestly understandably that's dangerous and stuff and maybe you shouldn't be doing it but I mean you're just having fun man and it's like I don't I don't understand why police got to be so like strict and uptight about everything like they just can't let you have fun but anyways that's my rant for today guys uh, I'll post another video probably like tomorrow or so uh, maybe I might add more to this video I guess we'll see you'll find out if there's still more to this or not uh, have a great day guys like comment subscribe combat wombat and that is it for me today We'll see though